Welcome to the channel, everyone. So I make money on the internet, and that's no secret, from YouTube to Fiverr to Upwork and Facebook. But sometimes you need to switch where you're browsing from. Now, you can't always just pull up a different computer. That'd be kind of crazy. Have like 17 laptops. Instead of doing that, why not just use proxies? But you might say, I don't know how to do that. That sounds technical, man. Well, let me show you how to do it. It's simple, easy, and fun. You just use two simple websites. Not only that, you can browse in anonymity, feel safe, and the best part is get what you need to get done. Let's jump in. All right, guys, so welcome to Proxy for You. So just to reiterate, you're probably trying to make money online, but usually you need to do some things that require multiple accounts. Maybe it's Facebook and you're doing all this marketplace activity and they say, oh, you have multiple accounts right here on the same IP address. Ban, 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 ban. Get the ban helmet. Maybe it's Upwork and personally, I've used this for Upwork. Why? Because I tried to work outside Upwork and they banned me. So instead of just trying to use a VPN and hiding in a remote island, they'll still find you because they can see your cookies. You need a sophisticated way to do this. So whether it's social media, freelancing sites, you're doing different things, crypto, whatever it is, you need a smart proxy. And this is the most affordable option. You get residential, a laptop, computer, desktop, you know, data center or mobile. You can get actual phones and leverage IP addresses. You can even have them be rotational or sticky. So Facebook will never see what you're doing. Ha, ah, got you there, Zuck. And the best part is it starts from just 250 So you will not find a cheaper, better option than this with the amount of data. And you can start your free trial now and click Get Started or Login now. If you've done that, I'm going to show you what the back office looks like. So let's jump in. So here's my back office for proxy for you. This is a proxy for you. Now, there's different types. I have a plan for residential, but you can also use mobile. Feel free to use what you want to use. Now I have different countries that I select targeting. I'm going to do Germany. It's good. And then I just select Germany. Um, I hit save configuration. And the protocol here, don't need to worry about changing. Now you can change it to rotating or sticky. Basically, you just flip IP addresses. So you're doing all this stuff on Facebook. Facebook's like, hmm, who is that? And then it changes. They're like, oh, you're good. You can almost think of it like going through the buffet line. And then you have a different hat each time to get a free sample. If you kept going through, eventually I figure out, but like, it's like, oh, who, who is this? I can't tell the ID. Maybe that's not the best example because someone probably could tell, but let's say you had a different, you know, facial cut or mask or something like that. That's what you'll need to get started. You just want to have a plan in place. I have residential. I have all the information here. You can see the amount of traffic. You don't have to really mess a lot with custom settings. It's actually simpler than you think. You just select countries you want to use or exclude, and you can change rotating or sticky depending on your needs. And then below here, you have your proxy list. You can copy this, put it on a notepad. I recommend doing that if you so want. Then our next site that you want to go is multi-login. So what does this do? You can bypass website restrictions and anti-detection browsers. So what that means is there's going to be things that are looking. There's still, even if you're using a proxy, stuff out there that's looking saying, what is this guy or girl doing? And you don't want to get banned. And you can see what they do right here. And they also have good customer support. Now, heads up. Um, you will have to sign in and then try a free trial for three days. It does cost just a little bit, but it's worth the pay. Once you get started, you're going to be really, really happy with what you see. So let's go ahead and look inside multi-login, see how we can make these two things work together. So once inside, you'll see this agent connected um, on my trial period right here. Then you can either make a new profile or you can launch a profile. Once you have a profile here, you can see what it looks like, and we're going to see how to do it. So I'm going to click edit here. Now you're going to come to custom. I'm going to show you what you need to enter. You can have a target website, you can have a start URL, but let's talk about what we need to enter. So the first thing you want to do, you can either do this from your notepad or you can do this right here, but I'm just going to show you right here. The first thing you want to do is match up everything here. So you can actually take a screenshot, but it's pretty simple. So first we're going to have the login. What is the login? 
the login is this string here right before the colon if you can see the colon this string here right before those two dots the colon so we copy that paste it here then there's a password password is everything after the colon but before the at sign so it's right so this is the login before the colon the password is after the colon but before the at sign so I'll copy that do not copy the colon that's one mistake i did make so right here paste that in then almost done See, you're a tech wizard already. Proxy server, the, the port for the proxy is this. Copy, copy. Boom, boom. Then finally, we have the IP or host. Now it can be an IP address, but in this case, it will be proxy for you. And we can see that right here, proxy host. Copy, copy, and paste. You can also copy, if you so choose, the port from here. You can copy stuff. You can copy all this stuff from here as well. I'm just showing you here. Or you can go copy, 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 copy. You can do that as well. Now, all we need to do is make sure it's working. So we go ahead and check proxy. And we can see you are Berlin. I just flew from Berlin. And boy, my arms are tired. So we update profile. And then we just have one thing. We just launch. I'm so glad I'm in Berlin. The weather is nice. Is the weather nice? I have to check. All right. <clears throat> then I go to what's my IP address. Right here. Let's see, I'm at Google. What is my IP address? So go to what's my IP address. It's going to load up here, and it's nice and quick. I can see right here, country is Germany, the region, Nordhain, Westfalen, and the city. I hope I pronounced that right. So that's how you can set up a proxy. Feel free to use whatever countries you'd like to use. Feel free to use you know, different configurations of what I showed you. These are the basics. Now I know we went over a lot of technical stuff here. So let me know in the comment section, if you need me to elaborate on anything, was this clear? And best of luck surfing without those big tech companies or those big names or whoever it is, you know, processors, you know, coming after you with the band hammer. You give them the band hammer. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell to know when I post more videos, questions or comments, let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.